Hello, grade eight students. This is your teacher, Mr. Ahmed Shaar. In today's lesson, we're going to be speaking about robotics in Spike Lego Education. Okay, first of all, you enter the website Lego Education Spike. Then you choose one of these two, Spike Essential or Spike Prime. Click on one. We're going to choose Spike Prime for today. We're going to speak about programming and coding in Spike Prime and how to code your robot to do the right movements, to go in the right directions, have the right sensors as per your build. Of course, you have to check your build first so you would know what you would like your robot to do. When starting, here of course you can see your project if you want to open a project, you can find yours. Here we're going to click on new project. I'm going to choose one of these three. We're not going to be speaking about Python or Word blocks. We're going to speak about icon blocks. You type the project's name. Let's say we're going to do the break dancer. Okay. Here you can see the tools that find out how your robot, you would like to code your robot or program your robot. As you can see here on the top left, there is a connect. You will connect your robot. There is a cable that you connected to the laptop or computer so you can program your robot. Of course, here under you can see the tools for your robot. There's one for Spike Prime, one for Spike Essentials. You can find for both. Okay. As you can see here, there is the tools under. There is one for the volume one for the mic, one for the music. You can find one for everything, of course. Here you can find the play button, stop button. And if you want to download any code that you, you've done, you can download it here, from here. Here you can find where your motion, where would you like your robot to go. You can send messages to your robot, as you can see. You can connect every thing that you need in this criteria. Let's say we want to put some mu uh, music for the robot. You can add the microphone also. But you have to record it first of all. Then you can add it. You can uh, add the time that you want your robot to go through whatever obstacle you want the robot to go. Of course, you can zoom in here. And you can undo your steps or redo your steps from here. You can make the screen bigger if you would like. Here, if you would like to add this, you will have to start. You can change the colors as the sensors that you would like to choose. Start from this, like that. Just connect with the tools as your robots build. You have to choose your robots build first, then add the tools, of course. As you can see here, you can change the colors and shuffle the colors. You can change which one would you like it to be. And of course, we're going to speak more about this in class. Hopefully, we're going to learn more about programming a robot with different techniques. And thank you so much, Grady students.